morning and welcome to James with Jesus on this on this <laughs> uh, December 23rd which I believe is Thursday um, the scripture I've selected this morning is from John's Gospel uh, 14th chapter this is part of what's called um, Jesus farewell discourse to his disciples um, so this is the 14th chapter and Jesus says I have said these things to you while I am still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you everything and remind you of all that I have said to you. Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not let them be afraid. You heard me say to you, I am going away and I am coming to you. If you loved me, you would rejoice that I am going to the Father, because the Father is greater than I. And now I have told you these, I have told you before it occurs, so that when it does occur, you may believe. I guess one of the things that struck me, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Um, I happened to see a posting by um, a bishop of another synod this morning talking about how this time of year when he was serving in the parish for close to 30 years and now as bishop for quite a period of time is a, I guess he referred to it as a squirrely time of year uh, just a whole lot of emotions running out there within individuals families and congregations and so for me this peace I leave with you my peace I give to you um, you know, it's um, it's a helpful reminder. We're still trying to manage our way through a pandemic. Uh, things are not normal with travel schedules, or uh, and and holidays and special occasions can sometimes amp up feelings and emotions. So, taking that time for a deep breath, hearing Jesus' promise of peace, and then seeing if we can um, live into that. For our worship services tomorrow, we'll have uh, both four o'clock and seven o'clock. Uh, those will be candlelight and Holy Communion. And the 7 p.m. will be offered live stream on Facebook. Um, so let's close with a prayer. Holy God, thank you for this new day. Uh, thank you to hear these words of Jesus offering peace to us. Help us be receptive to that message. Help us to um, set aside some time, however brief it may be, um, in a world that uh, tends to accelerate with busyness at this time of year. Uh, for those who are working hard, all the delivery workers, folks in stores, restaurants to go, uh, give them a sense of rest and peace. For our hospital workers and other healthcare professionals, um, all for whom this time of year uh, can add add to their um, workload. So help us be a good neighbor one to another. And this we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. We'll have a blessed day today, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow at uh, either in person or online. Bye-bye.